Hey, welcome to the channel. Hey, I'm here with you today because I have a um, have an idea. I have an idea I want to run by you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, first off, well, I got this crown chest here, so I'll just open that because hopefully I get a ton of goblin gangs. There they are. There they are. Um, so over at um, on the forum and then on, on Reddit in a couple places, I guess they just said that they're not going to be doing the card releases like every two weeks like they have been. They're going to do it a little bit um, more spaced out. So they're going to do it like every month. And the reason being, and I think this is um, pretty smart, is because I think they're seeing too many cards added to the game. And I think that it's causing a little bit of problem because obviously, if you look at, <laughs> check this out. So of my cards, like, uh, dude, I would say probably about 66% of them need to be upgraded right now. And a couple of them that have just been released, like if you go over here and look at, um, well, the clone, level one, and then the, the battle ram, obviously, at level one. Dark Goblin, I leveled up, which on a whim, and I still haven't used it since, really. And then the Goblin Gang, level one. Um, all the new cards are kind of, you know, getting put on the back burner, I think, for most players. Because number one, they don't have any flipping gold because it's so hard to come by. And then they're used to the cards that they're using. I mean, they're pretty sweet. The new cards are awesome. Like the Executioner, I used a lot because it was a dang sweet card. The Tornado, I've been using quite a bit. And I got it leveled up actually to where I can use it now. But, you know, it's really hard to get those cards leveled up if you don't pay for the gem packs and things like that. And then once you start using the gold on them, you just don't have enough gold to upgrade all the cards that you want. Which kind of stinks, but is what it is. And so they're going to start spacing out those things a little bit longer. But I thought a sweet idea might be... Um, if, if, you know, during a season, so a season, I think is, uh, it's what, it's two weeks, right? It's every season's two weeks. So during a season, what if, you know, they put some cards into retirement? So you can't kill off a card because people love cards. So I thought, first of all, I'm like, well, why don't they just take a card away and you can never get it again? But then all the people that join like tomorrow, Clash Royale, they want to, they want to use those sweet cards that have been in the past, like the zap, you know, what if they retired the zap permanently? So why not retire a card for like a two week period, basically put them in timeout. So they go and they get check out the statistics maybe or whatever, and they can rotate it. But what if they put like, you know, take two commons, two rares, and two legendaries, two epics. So they require they retire eight cards every season. That way nobody can use those cards all season. I think this will do a couple things. It limits the amount of cards people can use, and then it'll let them use cards that they aren't normally using. So they're gonna go pick some cards. It might shake up their whole deck, but I think it'll mix the game up quite a bit if they did that. So they retire some cards, just put them in retirement for a couple weeks, they're gonna come out retirement swinging, and then they can use them again, you know? And maybe they only have to do that once every other season, so maybe the second season out of the month, every card's available, you know? Just throwing that out there. Just thought it'd be a cool idea. What do you think? Just let me know. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna go and play this deck that I've been playing with a couple times. Um, I played with it, let's see, one, two, three, four, five times. First time I played with it, um, yeah, that's another deck. First time I played with it, I was just getting to know it, which that's what I do. And then I won, uh, lost, and then won one uh, a couple times. So I'm going to throw at it, uh, see if I can't get another um, win right here real quick with it, and see um, how it does. It's a, it's, it's a fun deck, you know. It has the Inferno Tower in it, which I have not used in a long time, which is a great defense. Um, I think the last time I played with it, I didn't even, the only time that I lost with it, I played against a guy that was using a tornado, and he actually played the tornado pretty effectively. So actually worked out really well. He pulled my hog onto the king tower, and it worked out for him because the rest of the match, I was basically struggling against his king tower. So um, let's put that there, that there, and then we will have to log her back. Hopefully that rage spell doesn't do, oh, it took out my... My, my skeleton, she, she zapped him so quickly. Wow, that was quick. Nice job, witch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that sounded horrible. Uh, nice job, witch. <laughs> okay, don't say... <laughs> anyway, sorry. Okay, so... 
Doing okay, had a good start. Uh, we took down his tower quite a bit. Nice job, Blue Killer. Coming at me, coming real hot. So let's just launch that again since he dropped his his uh, giant. He's gonna zap those away, or maybe not. Um, do we wanna, ooh, dang it. That Ice Wizard almost went all the way out, but I don't wanna waste a lightning on a half dead um, Ice Wizard. So we'll put that down to distract. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Because now that's going to distract the witch and the bomber for a little bit. We'll put that down and see if we can't take out... The problem is that bomber. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, waste of a rage spell, in my opinion. In my opinion, you wasted a rage spell. But that's that's your prerogative. How much damage does the lightning do? Uh, 346, so we're not going to be able to take that tower. So we got to send another hog in to take that tower down. Should take it down. Lickety split. Oh, we should have sent... Fire Spirits in with it. I guess we should have done that. But now, at least the tower's within log range. So we can log that tower. And then we'll start attacking this other tower here in a second. So that's good. So he's still going to keep attacking this side. Oh, no, he's not. Excellent. So we're going to go in hard on this side. We're going to put that on defense. And then I'm going to throw... Oh, shoot. I didn't want that hog right there. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have to put that down. And then that down, and I may have to lightning all that. I don't even think he's seen my lightning yet. Oh crap. Boom. Oh crap. That's not good. Eesh. That was a bad play on my part. Bad play. Excellent play on his part. Well played. Holy crap. Nice job. Lickety split. Oh shoot. I should have logged that tower. I needed to log that tower, but I didn't. Holy crap, that rage spell is just humdiggity. Well, I'm pretty much toast now. I thought I had this in the bag. What happened here? Uh, I can't even believe I'm not even at one tower. That was horrible. Oh my heck. That game fell apart so fast there at the end. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to leave that on there just so you guys can see that. I just got smoked by Blue Killer. Even though I was way ahead. Gotta focus more. Anyway, what do you think of my idea? Put cards into retirement, it limits the cards in the pool, and then it'll give people a chance to use some new cards. Uh, leave some comments below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for dropping by and good luck.